Hey, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys three simple crostini recipes that you can make when you want to feel fancy. The toppings are going to be sardines and fresh made pesto, an olive mushroom tapenade, and freshly made ricotta with figs and honey. Let's get started with the pesto. You can use store-bought if you want, but it's totally quick and easy to make your own. Now I'm making a very small portion for this recipe, so I use my stick blender, but it's definitely not the right tool for the job, so I recommend you use your food processor instead. So into the bowl of your food processor, add a tablespoon of pinoli, aka pine nuts, a peeled clove of garlic, and if your garlic is a bit old, now would be a perfect time to remove that central stem, which can add some bitterness. One cup of fresh basil leaves, a few pinches of salt for seasoning, as well as to help with abrasion, I'm going to get that going and blend it together. And 75 mils of extra virgin olive oil. Then I'll go in with about 50 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano. And you really want to use the real stuff here since we're making a fresh spread. So the difference will definitely come through. Keep on blending that until it's smooth, and feel free to add extra oil to adjust the consistency to your preference. Give it a taste to check for seasoning. If you want to add more salt or parm, now's the time. You can throw this in the fridge covered with plastic wrap that's touching its surface, which will prevent browning. All right, next up, let's make some fresh ricotta cheese. Again, you can use store-bought here if you want. Um, just make sure you're using the whole milk variety for that extra richness, and avoid the one from Whole Foods because it is an abomination. But really, this is so easy to make, so give it a try if you've got the time. So into a medium saucepan, add one liter of whole milk, and make sure it's not UHT or ultra pasteurized. Add in 100 milliliters of heavy cream, and slowly bring that to 90 Celsius or 195 Fahrenheit, just below simmering. As soon as it hits 90 degrees, let's stir in 20 mils of white vinegar, kill the heat, and let it sit for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you should notice some separation between the curds and the whey. The whey is generally a yellow liquid, and the curds will be white crumbly bits of cheese. So let's pour that into a strainer over another pot or bowl, so we can fully separate the curds and whey. And you can let that sit for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, depending on how creamy or dense you like your regatta to be. I went with 30 minutes and got this beautiful creamy texture. And once you throw it in the fridge, it's going to firm up a little bit, so keep that in mind. So let's season it with a little bit of salt, and you can refrigerate that for up to a few days. Alright, finally let's make our mushroom olive tapenade. Into a skillet, throw 200 grams of minced mushrooms. I'm using cremini's, but you could really use whatever you want. Let's add 50 milliliters of water and let those simmer until the water evaporates. We want to start off with water here instead of oil because the mushrooms will absorb whatever liquid they're in contact with. If you start with oil, they're going to suck it all up and you're not going to have any oil left. So after the water's evaporated, you'll notice they've shrunk quite a bit, which is counterintuitive considering they've sucked up a whole bunch of water. But go ahead and add some olive oil and you'll notice that they don't suck it up anymore. And two cloves of minced garlic. Saute those together until fragrant. Now let's add in a few leaves of fresh oregano. I really love the way that it's herbal and lemony notes pair with the mushrooms, as well as the minced Kalamata olives that I'm adding in now. Season those with salt and pepper. Go ahead and saute them for a few minutes until all the flavors are incorporated. And you could blend this in a food processor, but I like mine on the chunky side. All right, now let's slice up a baguette or any rustic loaf of bread on a bias to get the most surface area. Brush those with some olive oil. And throw them in the toaster until they're nice and crispy. And now we can assemble our crostini. Starting with the pesto, let's spread a bit onto a crostino. And we're going to top that with a sardine filet. These ones are canned in oil, and they're not super fishy. I think people get confused with anchovies. Onto our next crostino, let's spread the mushroom tapenade. And I'm going to grate some parmigiano reggiano on top to add a salty umami note. 
And finally, the ricotta. Spread a nice dollop on top. I like to add more than less. Top that with some thinly sliced dried figs. And drizzle a little bit of honey on top. So there you go, three quick and easy crostini. And I don't know which one I like the best. The pesto holds up really nicely against those sardines with its bright herbaceousness and the sharp kick from the fresh garlic. The mushroom tapenade is earthy and savory with this briny kick from the olives that pairs perfectly with the fresh oregano. And the ricotta and figs balance savory and sweet in a way that walks the line between appetizer and dessert. So I hope you give one of these, two of these, all of these a try. Post them on Instagram, tag me in them at Kevin all over the world, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.